Hi everyone, it's Greg. Um, I know that I haven't made a video in an extremely long time, well, three years at least. Um, and for the longest time, I've really, really wanted to come back to this channel and to, to make a video. I felt like I owed it to myself. I felt like I owed it to you. Um, you know, over these, these years, since I first started making the, the videos, um, I've had so much encouragement and support by people and people that are brave enough to also share their experiences. And, and when I set out to, to create this channel and to make these videos, um, you know, three plus years ago, you know, that's exactly what I had hoped for. You know, I had hoped to, you know, through my own not understanding what was going on with me at the time and, and trying to work out how did I end up in this situation? You know, how did I have this burnout? You know, what's wrong with me? Um, to actually, you know, to share this with other people to say, hey, are you aware of this? Because I was completely taken by surprise. Um, but also to build a community to kind of try and find answers from other people that had gone through this. Um, and um, so, yeah, there was, there was the, you know, I've been wanting to make this video for a long time, but I guess in the same sense, I've, I've kind of been delaying it because at the same time, I felt like I needed to kind of bring it full circle and come back and make a video and say, I'm through it and things are great and, um, and you'll be great too. And, um, and, and I guess I don't exactly feel that way. And I'm not saying this in a negative way because there are so many great things about my life now and, and, um, and so much has changed for the better. And I learned so much about myself during this experience, but it was really a tough time. You know, I think the first two years of this burnout, admittedly I started making these videos, I think a year after the, the burnout. Um, and, but really, you know, the first year was a complete blur. The second year I was just manic. You know, I had a little bit of energy and I'm talking like maybe two good hours in me, in, in me a day where I really felt driven and I could actually achieve something. And I was using that time to make these videos and, um, and I was essentially just burning myself out again, um, which I'll come back to in a minute. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, that year, I, that year, I can't even really tell you much about what happened at all. In fact, I, I, before making this video, I decided to go back through some of the early videos for the first time since I made them, I might add. And, you know, I look at myself and I, I don't even recognize myself. Um, I really, I, I see how much I was struggling and it's painful actually to watch. Um, knowing who I was to end up in that situation, to watching me make these videos so desperate, you know, and I can see the desperation in me and having to, you know, script what I was saying because I was just not being coherent and afraid to be coherent, afraid I wouldn't come across as coherent. Um, and, um, and it's been a, you know, a really challenging period, but along that time, you know, like I said, there's been a huge amount of support and bravery from people like yourselves, you know, commenting, but also checking in and asking me. And even to today, I'm still getting people saying, Hey, Greg, you know, how are you? What's going on? You know, where are you at these days? Um, and that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do with this video. I, I want to kind of, you know, s explain why I just disappeared and, um, and what's kind of happened and, and where I'm at now and, and to see if there's some future of, of carrying on with this channel, actually, you know, if there's benefit for people, um, which I would certainly like to get your feedback from. To step back um, to the time of, of, of making the videos, um, like I said, um, I, I had gone through a very, you know, that difficult year, the first year of the burnout. I didn't really know who I was. I didn't really know what was going on. I was drugged up on antidepressants, which, you know, just left me, um, uh, numb, I guess is the best way to explain it. Um, you know, I wasn't experiencing these really lows, but 
I wasn't experiencing anything at all. I was just kind of floating along in there. Um, and, you know, it was a really frightening and terrible time. Um, that's the best, the best I can say about it. Um, to, you know, having a little bit of energy and wanting to step back in the world and realizing, you know, that I was making these videos for my own benefit, of course, because I wanted to find other people who could share this experience with me and tell me about how they got through it and how they ended up there. Um, and hopefully by sharing my story, I was helping other people also. But at the same time, um, I was um, falling back into those old habits, which had got led me to the burnout to start with. You know, I was utilizing the only good couple of hours I had each day, um, trying to find purpose in my life and, 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 and feel like I was contributing to the world. And so there I was, you know, being the carer that I am, um, wanting to share my experiences and not really aware of the fact that you know, I was just trying to satisfy, uh, you know, um, old behaviors which were familiar to me and which were comfortable, but those behaviors were no longer good and I really had to cut them out. And I think after, you know, about five months of making the videos, um, you know, to be honest with you, I had, I think, about five subscribers or 10 subscribers, I can't remember exactly who I was incredibly grateful for. Um, I, you know, I had maybe 20 likes on a video. And I know it's not about the quantity, but I think I got to that point of realization that, um, hey, I'm burning myself out again, here yeah, uh, again. And am I using these two good hours I have a day wisely on myself to really recover? And, um, and for all the effort that was going into these, was I getting back what I needed from it? And the reality was at that time, you know, yes, I was grateful to those people. And yes, I had some, you know, lovely discussions, but that wasn't really addressing the, 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 the core issue of what was going on with me. And, um, and that was really hard to accept. And I really, um, it really set me spiraling downwards yet again um, on that kind of awareness and acceptance of that. Um, and even though the acceptance of that was saying, hey, this is not the right thing for you right now, this is what is, and this is what's gonna make things better. Um, I was really, really struggling to let go of the behaviors of the past. And, um, and it made me feel, um, useless and, and worthless and um, not contributing to the society and guilty and, you know, all these kind of, you know, negative emotions. Um, but, you know, so for that second year, um, that really ended quite, quite on a bad note for me and, um, and I really didn't know where I was going. But sort of pop into year three and, um, and I decided to, you know, that this medication was not keeping me where I wanted to be. I wanted to feel things again. Um, I didn't care if these emotions were bad. I, want, I really wanted to face them and challenge them and be aware of them and accept them and, um, and just go through them and, and um, to learn coping mechanisms for the future. And so I did start finding other coping mechanisms, um, such as um, uh, yoga or, and, uh, and the most important thing actually is art. And I decided to go back to, to drawing and really focusing on drawing. I had always been um, a very creative child. I loved art. I always wanted to have art in my career, in my future. I wanted to be an artist and an architect. Um, and, and a set designer actually. <laughs> but I, I really, you know, I wanted to be able to um, create worlds of, you know, um, whether it was for film and television or it was for a piece of art that hung on the wall or, or, or whatever, um, or futuristic buildings. And, you know, to kind of really follow through with something that I was really passionate about. But as life had it, um, 
you know, I had left home at a, at a very young age. I was financially supporting myself, putting myself through school, and I was basically living in survival mode and living up to a lot of ideals and values that simply weren't mine. Um, and, um, and so I, you know, I was out fighting to get the best jobs and I would do everything to, you know, um, ensure I got that job or to live in a good house or to have the things that, you know, that I wanted. Um, and, and this ultimately led into me, you know, creating my own company and, and, and employing people. But, you know, I was just working and working and my whole life had become about working hard and then on those few hours that I had free I was parting hard to kind of to, to compensate for all the hard work and to reward as a reward essentially you know I was rewarding myself by parting hard which you know it's a vicious cycle you know it was no doubt that you know it was all going to end up in disastrous and um you know and i watch back some of these videos now and i you know i that i had made in reflection to before in making this video and you know i really you know, i just don't recognize that guy i see how desperate i was um and um and i'm not surprised that you know shortly after making these video or during making these videos should i say that i began to realize that you know i was i was burning out again i can i can see it just by watching myself and and hearing it by the way that i'm talking and and um and being quite incoherent at times and and having to script what i was saying you know i couldn't even have <clears throat> a, just a, a conversation like this a, you know a natural conversation because I was so, my thoughts were so incoherent, you know, it would have made, made no sense at all. Um, and so jumping back into art was, was really an incredible experience. And, um, and then I realized that, hey, you know, I am really passionate about this. Maybe this is where I can, you know, take the next, the next steps in my life. And, um, and I started to create art and actually sell art. And, and my first, you know, big sale was a real confidence booster in, in getting back to um, feeling some normality and feeling some contribution to the world and some worth, um, which for some reason is still super important to me. Um, and I think for most people it is. I think we want to be productive, contributing citizens um, to the world and, and to make the world a better place. But during this whole process as well, you know, having to really, um, you know, reflect over the last few years on who I am and who my values are and reconstruct who I was because I was so broken during that burnout. I didn't recognize myself anymore and I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what was going to happen in the future. I, I just didn't know anything. And it was really kind of like picking up all these pieces and, and sorting out the, the good from the bad and well, not even the bad. I mean, yeah, there were some bad things, of course, but the things that were no longer useful, you know, setting them aside and, and, and holding on to those good things, but finding things to balance out the, the no, you know, the things that were useless to me, if, you know, moving forward. Um, and, um, and it was a bit of a, a reinvention. Um, and it, sometimes it felt really fake. I felt, I felt like a phony. I didn't, you know, I was creating art and calling myself an artist and thinking, what right do I even have to call myself an artist? You know, have I just completely recreated someone and, you know, I was just waiting for someone to come along any, you know, any moment with a stick to sort of, you know, pop my bubble and, and, and send me spiraling back down again. And, um, and so it's been a really interesting learning curve. And, and what came out of all this, this self-discovery was the fact that I really, um, there are many things that I had followed, you know, for, for many years. Um, and particularly one is about the, our changing climate and the, the climate emergency that we find in. You know, I think for the last 15 plus years, you know, I religiously have read and, and researched everything as, as we've kind of seen this all evolving. And, you know, and I felt a lot of real injustice about it. I felt a lot of fears. I felt a lot of concerns. I felt a lot of anger. I felt 
um, a lot of frustration as to why are we not doing anything about it? You know, we're, we're getting this science and the science is building all the time and building this picture and developing it into, you know, where we're at today. And yet we're still not doing anything about it. And and I realized that through my art, I could really have a voice and I could use um, a technique or um, a style or um, just a, a type of art, which is called artivism, which is this kind of combination of art plus activism, although it doesn't look like traditional activism and it doesn't look like traditional art. It's kind of this really nice melting point and, and knowing that you know, the art that I was putting out that had a very kind of strong message, whether it was um, about my fears or concerns or a, about a current situation or about evoking action out of others. Um, and so that's been really a, a, an amazing journey and hugely rewarding. And so much so that earlier this year, um, I really found that I had my confidence again and, and wanted to sort of not, you know, take it up another notch. And, um, and I started a new YouTube channel called Greg the Artivist, which now I've made over 120 videos, which, you know, in nine months surprises me, you know, when the last time I think in, you know, five months it took me to make just eight videos. Um, but I just didn't have the capacity that I have today. And these videos are all about my journey into artivism and, um, and sharing my fears and concerns about the future and about, you know, particularly related to the climate crisis and, um, and particularly um, trying to share knowledge uh, about that to communities and, and engage in communities. And, um, yeah, it's been really something incredible and I'm so proud of the work that I'm doing there and I know that it still has a long way to go um, to and a bit like these videos that I made for um, uh, for Anxious Greg you know they kind of improved over those those short number of episodes that I made um, and this is the same you know when I look at the first video that I made for, for Greg the Artivist now um, you know, it's, it's, it's good, but it's nothing compared to the most recent video that I made, which was um, interviewing a world leading authority um, on the psychology or the psychological impacts of the climate emergency um, on, on us all, um, which has been really insightful and mental health has become a really big issue to me. Um, so this is all amazing and this is all great. And, um, and, and also this channel, surprisingly, this channel, you know, I, like I said earlier, I only had a few subscribers and viewers. Something happened in January this year with YouTube and all of a sudden my videos just started being watched and my subscribers just jumped up all of a sudden. And I think one of my videos has like 15,000 views or something crazy on it. Um, and, and that's also given me reason to sort of come back um, because I've had so many conversations this year um, uh, on um, on this channel with people um, which um, as much as I wish I was having those conversations you know back three years ago when I made those videos <clears throat> I'm so glad I did it now because I don't think I was really that um, prepared to, to or equipped should I say to, to have those conversations. So yeah, so a lot has happened and I would love to say that it's all rosy, but you know, I still have my ups and downs and I really rely on my, cope, my new coping mechanisms to get me through because I really don't want to go back onto medication. And that's not saying that medication isn't good. Um, I know for many people that I speak to, you know, um, some of the medications are amazing and it's really improved their lives significantly. But for me, it really didn't work. It had a really adverse effect and I really felt that it was making me much worse. Um, and so I'm, you know, now coping. And, you know, if I'm entirely honest with you, you know, I've, my anxiety has been horrendous the last few weeks. In fact, even last night, I was up until 5 a.m. this morning um, with suffering anxiety and trying to implement all these um, coping mechanisms to get through that so I could eventually get to sleep. And I really wish that didn't happen. You know, I really wish that my life was as it was before, but healthier. And, um, 
and I'm accepting the fact that that just may not be the case. Um, but that doesn't um, leave me less inspired about this new future and this new journey that I'm on and, um, and grateful to be in a place where I've had um, a support network around me to help me get through this and live in a country where burnout is actually recognized and I was able to have insurance that could get me through the periods where I haven't been able to work, which I know for many people that I've spoken to on this channel, you just don't have that luxury um, uh, based on your geographic location which is, you know, incredibly upsetting and disturbing and, um, and I really do feel for you um, and which is also just a, a deep reminder of, you know, how grateful I am to be, to have had this, spirit, this experience with the support around me to be able to get through it. Um, so, yeah, <clears throat> that's pretty much where I'm at and... Um, like I said, I've, you know, for the longest time, I really wanted to make this video. I really felt like I owed it to myself. I really felt like I owed it to, to, to you all. Um, and, and, and I'm questioning whether or not um, I should try and make some more future videos on here because this channel is really dear to me. I just haven't known what to do with it, to be honest. And, and, and to felt, I haven't felt ready until now to actually approach, approach it in, the, in this way. So um, I would love to hear what you think. I mean, maybe there's specific questions that you have that you would like to see videos made about. Um, I don't know, T talk to me. Um, I would love to help in any way that I can. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I feel very, you know, like I said, grateful to have been able to engage with many of you and have some amazing conversations and to see so many people so brave um, to actually talk about their stories. And, and the other thing about all of this is that, you know, I really didn't publicize this channel to anyone that I knew at all, because to be honest with you, I was a bit ashamed about my burnout. And I was worried that by making these videos that this would be on the internet forever and, um, and people would see this and this could affect my future employment. And now I don't care about that at all. I have no cares about that at all. If that affects any future, excuse me, any future employment or plans on what I'm doing now, then um, so be it. You know, that isn't the right thing for me. Um, and um, yeah, so any details at all, you know, I'm, I'm really happy to, to share them with you if you feel that it would be of some benefit. So listen, I just want to thank you very much. Um, for your caring and your support and for everyone that's reached out. Um, thank you for listening to this. I hope it hasn't just made me blurbing on and, and really aimless and pointless. Um, it's Christmas. I finally got my decorations up this week. Um, uh, actually over the weekend. Um, not, you know, better late than ever, never, I guess. Um, so yes, Christmas is coming weekend. Um, if you celebrate Christmas, then, you know, I wish you um, a happy uh, and Merry Christmas. If you don't, then I wish you, uh, a, you know, a happy festive season. And everyone, of course, a great start to the new year. And um, I'm wishing you all health and happiness. Um, I look forward to speaking to you again in the future. So uh, do leave your comments below. And thank you very much.